most people go through life either just going to school or just sending their kids to school and don't really stop to think about whether or not what's being taught in these schools is most beneficial to the students and is being taught most effectively. As a result of the way that schools are currently teaching students, these kids will grow up to not be fully equipped for the real world and will have a lot of unneeded stress that they don't need in order to succeed at such an age. In a documentary called Gender Neutral Education, the first episode, No More Boys and Girls Can Our Kids Go Gender Free, the creators asked a group of seven-year-old students to draw what they thought a makeup artist, dancer, mechanic, and magician would look like and what genders they would be. Most of the students said that a makeup artist and a dancer would be a female and that a mechanic and a magician would be a male. In order to break the idea of gender specific professions, the creators brought in professionals from each job to come show the kids like what they can do and like what what the their job entails. And the result of this was that most kids were pretty amazed by this and excited to see someone of their gender do a job that they never thought was possible for them to do. This is really important because it expands the idea of what the kids of the the certain types of jobs that the kids think that they can do in life. For example, if a little boy is really passionate about dancing but doesn't think that they can do it because society tells them not to, they could go through life pursuing a profession that they have no interest in and does not make them excited or that they don't have fun with and could potentially change their life into be something that isn't as good as it could have been. The next problem with our school systems is the grading system. Now, in a, in, by, in a, a teacher of the year award acceptance speech by John Taylor Gatto called the seventh lesson school teacher, he explores the idea of grades and he says that there's such little time and reflection that goes into grades. And by this, he means that the true knowledge and like the true knowledge that most students have isn't really a reflection of what their grades are and speaking from experience most students go through almost every almost every year of education extremely stressed or ex extremely stressed and have a lot of pressure put on them to do good grades and are told that if you don't get good grades, you won't succeed in life and you won't get into the college that you need or get the scholarships that you need in order to be successful. Now, this can extremely affect students and can decrease their confidence in themselves and can potentially lead to anxiety and just overall stress about school and can make them not want to go to school or be excited about learning or be excited about really any profession. Before exploring these sources, I never really realized how unprepared students are after leaving high school. Now, it is extremely important for kids to not be stressed and to have a right idea in their mind of what professions they can do. And in order, and if we want our, our kids to go to be successful and like their jobs and ex succeed in them, we need to change our school systems and the way that we teach our students.